Good morning guys. I say this in every single vlog, but today is the day. Uh, you guys will be amazed with the wheels and how great they look also with the tires as well. I'm gonna see if I can try to fit it on when I come back home and then see if I can adjust the coils at the same time. But guys, worth it. It's worth the wait, I promise. So let's go get the wheels. if I need to adjust the coils drastically or not but otherwise guys it looks so good I cannot wait to fully reveal it to you guys all right guys I made it home so I'm gonna start offloading the wheels and I will show you when they're on the ground I'm not gonna show you like when they're mounted yet just because uh, I want to make sure that the height and everything looks good so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys like how the wheel looks. It looks amazing. All right guys, I just offloaded the wheels. They're right in front of me. So just watch out because it's really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna count down. One, two, three. I'm completely speechless Super clean now this does come with a sticker grand light sticker. I am not gonna put that on however, just because I Personally don't think it looks good, but uh, a buddy of mine back in NorCal San Jose. He's actually making a uh, overlay like decal for like one of the spokes. It's sort of like the T37s that have that like Volk Racing decal on like one of the spokes. It's kind of like that, but for the Grand Life 57 DRs. So that will probably be red, if anything, because I know he does different colors, but uh, I think it's like in the making right now. So he also has the same wheels. That's why he was gonna try them out, see what happens. But when it's done, I'll probably get one of those, well, a set of those for these wheels, but in red. So it'll look good. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the car, see how it looks. Hopefully I don't have to do so much adjusting in the, in terms of like, you know, coilovers and stuff. I don't have to go too low because I actually prefer this height in terms of, you know, having a splitter and being capable to do like different things, adding different things to the car. So, um, Let's see, let's just see. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on though. I put one side of the <laughs> wheels on the car. It looks, I'm not used to it at all. Like, I love it, I really do. It looks so nice. But to be honest, I'm not used to it. Maybe because I haven't really seen the wheels on this car as much, like on the internet and stuff. But let me just, let me just show you guys. So these are the old wheels I have right now, my XXR 527s. Being used to the wheel and everything and the style of the wheels. But let me just, you know, give you like a little panning around of the car just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is this side. 
and wrapping around. Boom! Mag Blue 57DRs with some red lugs on it. It looks really clean. Um, the tires are super dirty. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. I'm not really worried about that. But guys, look at the meat. Look at that meat though. So much beef, so much steak going on right now. It's ridiculous. Just to show you guys, this is really, really good because you know the height is not too bad, which means if I lower it just a little bit more, I'm capable of still putting a splitter underneath this, which is the whole idea. So that's sort of why I wanted to go for 265 40s, especially 40s, just because I want this wall, I want this height of the wall. But it looks really good. The fitment is super close on that. It's ridiculous. That's actually, um, I need to turn the wheel to see if that's even possible. But uh, yeah, guys, let me just show you the back of the car. Uh, completely fine. It looks really good. The height, again, is really good. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some fine adjustments on the car. Otherwise, they look good. So I took the wheel off. Uh, just one thing I want to show you guys real quick before I go ahead and make adjustments. So I checked already, camber is really good. Uh, I don't even need to adjust the camber, which is really nice and easy. All I have to do pretty much is just adjust the height on these coils. Um, if you guys are wondering, by the way, these are Raceline Primos. Uh, I have had a really good experience with these coilovers. Um, nothing wrong with them. Perfectly good for daily driving. Uh, but if it's for a track, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend like something else, probably like Fortunato or something. But uh, for daily driving, doing pretty much what I do, just you know, for show cars and for showcasing and for daily driving, these coilovers are really amazing. Uh, super easy. Just pretty much unlock this and then just adjust the height based on these two. Super easy. Um, but uh, for yeah, for daily driving. I do recommend these coilovers for sure. It's a good price as well. I know there's like a good amount of people who said that race lands are crap, they're garbage. Uh, I don't think so. I got the highest M from them. So I believe they have three different like stages of coils. I got like their last one. But if you guys are looking for coilovers or wondering which uh, coils to get that are like cheap or like decently cheap, uh, but pretty much good for daily driving. I definitely recommend these ones. So about like 30, 40 minutes later, I finally adjusted completely the front suspension. Take a look. So fitment is definitely on point. It looks so nice. Yeah, granted from uh, the camera angle from here, you can see a tiny bit of gap, but I actually don't mind that. I am totally fine with that. But uh, it looks really good. It looks really meaty. Same with this side, guys. It looks really good. Nice and tucked in. It'll be fine in terms of turning. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and actually test that in terms of the turning, in terms of the clearance in the front, how much gap I have, how much playroom I have while I turn the car. But uh, like I said, the front part of the fender liner is a little bit flexible, so it is nice while I'm turning and stuff while I'm driving the car. Uh, but good news though, it is definitely higher than my XXRs that I had. So those wheels over there, because of the tires, uh, how big they are, <laughs> they're, it gave my car a bit of a more, it, a little bit more clearance in terms from the lip to the ground. So if you guys can see here, uh, in terms of here to here, it's definitely higher compared to what I had with those XXRs. So 
uh, I'm completely fine with that but now I'm gonna go ahead and actually test uh, the car by turning the wheels both left and right and also adjust the rear uh, suspension but I'm almost done guys I'm almost done despite how tired I am no breakfast whatsoever but uh still going strong so it's looking good guys all right guys I'm finally done I uh, fixed the front I uh, steered it it's good it's good to go uh, fixed the back I'll just, let me show you guys the back right now so just some really really good fitment um, really nice and tight I uh, really like it it turns out really well it flushes so well with the fender um, everything is perfect uh, there's nothing wrong with the fitment and how it is uh, let me just show you guys the other side this side is perfect as well this looks really really good along with that side <clears throat> and the front so front and back is perfect now so looks good guys so that is it that's it for this huge project that I did uh, 57 DR gram lights uh, raised uh, with 595 RS double R tires uh, 265 4018s and uh, the wheel color is specifically called Mac blue not matte blue but Mac blue uh, a lot of people do these colors, it's really pretty, it's such a nice blue, shade of blue. In terms of the new wheels and new tires, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys are wondering if I'm still going to get the tire letterings, yes I am, I already ordered it. Uh, it should come in really tomorrow or Friday. Uh, in terms of this though, now I will be cleaning these. These are for sale, uh, well they are for sale now. <laughs> um, so the specs of these, I, I will be posting it on like Craigslist and stuff like that, but the specs of these is pretty much XXR's 527, uh, 18 by either eight and a quarter or eight and a half. I'm not really sure. I have to double check on that. But uh, offset, I also have to check as well because it's been a while since I've actually, you know, looked at the specs of these wheels. <laughs> But they are custom powder coated gloss black. Same guy, same guy I brought to for these new 57DRs. Um, he did the same work, but gloss black. Really clean. They also come with uh, center caps. So whoever is in the SoCal area around LA, if you guys are interested, these are now for sale. So these were on that car. It looked really great. Another thing to mention is these will also go both. 5x100 and 5x114 bolt pattern. Uh, they do not come with hub centric rings, unfortunately. Well, some do. Um, I believe all three of them do except one, which is weird. So I know this one does, that one does, and that one does, but this doesn't have one. Yeah, guys, and then the tires, two of them are Federal uh, 595 Super Street or Super Steel, sorry, for two of them. And then the back two are uh, hand cooks. So they're 225 4018s. But that's the spec, guys. That's pretty much it. I'm super beat. Uh, I'm probably gonna wait until James comes because he might come and pick me up and we're gonna go hang out. And one more thing, actually, uh, as, I've, as I know, James is already picked up secondary injectors for his FD. So we already have the turbo installed, you guys saw that video. Uh, I believe he's installing the injectors right now, if he's on the way back from the shop. And that should do it. Meaning now the next step should be back on the dyno. It should make more power. I'm not sure about the wastegate though, because that has been opening prematurely. We shall see, I don't know. But in terms of all the problems that we're thinking of should be solved. But yeah, next step should be back on a dyno. And I will make sure to get footages of that as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. I will catch you guys later. And I will keep you guys up there as always. See ya.